In NASCAR, crashes loom around every corner. You never know when your car might slip out from underneath you and you go head on into the wall. You may go barrel rolling down the track or you may collect your competitors. Sometimes those competitors take you out. In this video, we're going to be showing off some of the best NASCAR crashes. I hope you've been enjoying this content recently. If you have, feel free to always hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get right on into the video. See that hand? Shove him to the bottom. Oh, see that hand? Just wanted to touch him, man. Just wanted to touch him. Can't get him touch to the high side. Outside. Here he comes. Oh, there he, he turns him. He Bottom turns him. Bush in the oh, wall. My God. Here comes Stewart to the checkered Tony flag. Stewart. And another oh, car gets him to the backside. It's Casey off. Kane. And they're scattering oh, everywhere as they come to the line. Some of these guys hit hard, man. Oh, and one of them was Kyle Busch. They're still hitting hard. The closing laps of the 2009 Coke Zero 400 saw Tony Stewart and Kyle Busch get together. Kyle Busch goes hard into the wall, making a huge impact to his race car, collecting multiple cars as they cross the finish line. Kyle Busch was extremely upset with Tony Stewart after this race. Even in the media center, he showed his displeasure. If the second place driver dumps, quote unquote, the leader, then Black Flag's ass. He doesn't get the win, you know? If he... If he's on him from behind and moves him out of the way and there's no wreck, then fine. You know, he can win the race. But if you're up alongside the guy and you dump him, then um, I'd say black flag him and give the win to the third place guy. Bravo, big, big crash. Danica Patrick and Joey Logano oh, and man, Eric, Eric Alvaro. Holy smoly. Oh, heavy, heavy damage there on Danica. Patrick went for a wild ride and then got, bam, pounded again by Almirola. After a hellacious hit in the 2017 Kansas race, Eric Almirola injured his back in this horrible accident. Eric Almirola came sliding in the path of Joey Logano and Danica Patrick after they slid into the wall. Almirola had a back injury from this accident, and it took him multiple weeks to recover after this injury. I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up. He goes to the guy side. Is Edwards going to oh, lose no. He turns him. No, no. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. Be on air because I did not see Brad Keselowski do anything wrong there. No, no. It was a blocking move on Carl. The old nine looked to the outside. Carl went up to block that move. And when Carl came down, the old nine was there. Watch this. What a lick. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Unbelievable. You know, and, and looking very carefully at the catch fencing that held. This is by far one of the most iconic crashes in NASCAR history. Coming to the line to the finish of the Talladega race, Brad Keselowski tries to pass Carl Edwards, ultimately crashing him. Edwards' car takes off into the catch fence, slides back down the racetrack after a violent hit. Edwards was okay after this hellacious accident at Talladega, and it is still one of the most devastating crashes in NASCAR history. Michael Waltrip in the 55, into the picture, pushed by Casey Mears, Kenseth with Harvick behind him, oh, oh there's contact, Stewart into the middle of the pack and over. Watch it out. They're coming to the checkered flag. Yeah, and you know as a driver, Tony Stewart's leading this race. He's got no help. He tries to make a, a, a move that's going to get him some push and help. And you know as a driver, if you make that move, there's a chance that somebody's not going to lift on the last lap. And this is a situation that could happen. It's a product of this type of racing. And every driver knew that's the situation that you could find yourself in. Waltrip in the 55, Mears in the 13, Stewart in the 14. You can see Tony just a little bit late in making that move to get back down. Harvick and Kenseth on the outside had a run, so they were literally going to go by him on both sides. Watch the two. The championship leader. This crash will forever be in everybody's minds for the rest of eternity. The entire field basically crashes in the middle of turn three and four at Talladega. Tony Stewart throws a late block on Michael Waltrip and the wreck ensues. Never before have I seen an entire field fall apart and everybody crash. Dale Jr. got a concussion from this crash. Unfortunately, Tony Stewart went on his side. It was just a wild crash. We haven't seen a crash like that in a very long time. Oh, he 
he's getting them loose. Oh, he's getting them loose. And it is hard into the wall. Caution is out. Oh, Kenseth goes, goes around. around. Kenseth, another championship chaser. Jeff Gordon is through the grass. There's Harvick right behind Riggs. That was an extremely hard blow. There's a rear spring bouncing across the racetrack. It'll take a while to clean this up. The 10 bobbled just a little bit. The 29 was coming. I don't think the 29 ever hit him, but he got close enough to him where he took the air off the spoiler, and that's all it took. Oh, Truex just gets tapped, but hangs on to it. And Junior just misses it. There you see Ken's at the round, gets tapped again. Gordon through the grass. This is one of my childhood races that I vividly remember. Kevin Harvick gets in the back of Scott Riggs, causing a massive accident off of turn number four. Back then, when these cars had a lot of horsepower, accidents like this were way more dangerous than they are nowadays. The impact Riggs, the 10 car, made of the outside wall was hellacious. Scott Riggs was okay after this accident, but it involved a lot of championship contenders. Not done yet, though. He's got a trunk full of Brad Keselowski. He powers to the outside of Byron. He'll take second. Here, oh, this is spinning to the inside is Byron. Kyle Busch gets turned. Denny Hamlin gets turned, and they're wadding it up in the back of the pack. Harrison Burton up and over. He'll flip that Wood Brothers Ford Mustang. Christopher Bell is involved. William Byron involved. Kyle Busch gets a piece of the action. Also, one other car down to the inside of the racetrack. It's Ross Chastain. Alex Bowman all get collected out of turn number two it got started when the 24 car of william byron just got clubbed and turned down across the double yellow line and onto the apron everybody scattered behind him and it was just like a, a pool table break everybody bouncing and shuffling off each other harrison burton got upside down landed on all four wheels and mike bagley at least for the moment he tried to drive it away and then figured out it wasn't the inaugural nascar next gen race saw a flip Yes, I am not surprised, just like you are. There was a huge crash in the backstretch early on in the Daytona 500 in 2022, and the crash saw Harrison Burton's car lift up on the backstretch, a barrel rolling down, and landing back on his wheels. This was just a wild accident to witness. I was there in person, and yeah, I'm very glad everybody's okay. Half a lap to go. Here comes Stewart. Who gets through to win the race? Caution flag has just been called. The race leader is James Butcher in the 30 car. Unbelievable. Coming for A.J. Allmendinger, and he's going to give it right to oh, Noah Gregson into the, the wall. Caution. He'll go. Oh, oh man. Big hit for Gregson. Lock it down. Lock and the down. caution comes out again. Get him. Still wrecking. Landon Castle in the 10. We saw him wreck. There's Riley. He's got to get to the top. The top's going to have the biggest energy here. Mm -hmm. 21's going to come with a huge shove. They are two and three wide behind him. Crossover. Here he That's comes. Austin Hill oh, in the 21. Big crash. Up and over. Caution is out. That's Myatt Snyder. Final corner at Daytona. Who's going to get here first? Regan Smith, 7. Keselowski, 22. Stewart, 33. And contact! Smith turned around. Tony Stewart is going to win this race. And a terrible crash coming to the finish. And this is a big, big wreck. Kyle Larson's car with the front end severely torn off. That is the engine out of the 32 car. That's in the grandstand side of that wall. Yeah, also a tire and wheel assembly. As the field came to the checkered flag, watch the white 32 car.